What's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy Pluto here with another nigga tutorial on my TV transition effect that I always do on my motion tracks and intros and shit. But yeah, here it is. Transition. Alright, guys, let's get started. So, you want to drag in your clips to the, um, into your timeline, both of them. The clip you want to transfer into, which is a TV clip should be the second clip that's on top. Alright, so you have the first cinematic here. So you want to go over to the second cinematic with your TV and you want to trim trim out the part where you don't see the TV at. So you don't see the TV right here. So control shift D and split the layer. Don't delete it. Alright, go to the layer that you split it and you go to click on it, right click, go to track camera and then click on render track points. So this is probably gonna take a little minute, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. All right guys, this is back and it's done, son. All right, so now you wanna do is uh, first click off the render track point so you can see the circle. All right, once you see the circle, you wanna find a nice, a nice flat circular area where the circle is flat on the TV. So this is a good spot. So create create null and camera. And then you want to press P on the keypad on the track null. I'll first go to the clip and turn this off the 3D camera so you don't need that anymore. Go back to your null. And now you want to um, click on the, the send clip, which is right here. And press toggle switches if you don't have it already on. Come over to, let me see toggle switches. All right, and come over to where you see this 3D cube. This is your 3D layer. Click on that cube and your shit disappears. No worries. Superman is here, that's fine. Press P on your keypad, bring up position. And then copy the null, I mean the, uh, the positions from the null into the position in the clip. So it's control paste. All right, copy paste for all of them. Oh, look at there. You see the damn tip clip. All right, good. So now all you want to do is just drag it in and scout that bitch out. And just click on the rotation tool up top and just spin it around. Get it nice and straight. All right. The main the main thing you want to do is get it get it centered up with the TV, but don't go all up on the edges. I'm gonna show you another effect you can use for that. So then you want to go type in go type in what's the effect called corner pins on your effects and precept tab and drag that on into the cinematic clip. And then you want to go to the beginning of the cinematic. And keyframe all of them. Then drag the drag the endpoints into the corners of the TV. And just line it up. That's all you gotta do. Line it up. Alright, that was good. And then just adjust it on the way by a little bit. And let's see. Yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the basis of it, you know. It's pretty simple and easy to do, fast. Oh, and when you want to go to the beginning of the clip, your cinematic right here, you want to split the layer, then go back a frame, and then change change this to, um, change this to default. So it's 640 by... 360. Then change the scale. Now take off the corner pins too. I, mean, I think the scale. Oh yeah, bring down the scale. All right, there you go. Just reset everything, and boom. Let's play it out. Yeah. 
Yes, son. You gotta adjust that too. Yeah, you guys. The more time spent on it, the more it's gonna look turn out. That's looking pretty sexy to me. Yeah. All right, guys. So give me feedback. Give me tutorial suggestions. Anything you want from me, just hit me up on Skype. I'm not afraid. Don't don't be afraid to talk. I won't bite. All right, guys. That's it. Pretty much. Leave a like and comment if this helps you out. I'm out.